Today we'll be solving the equation the log of x plus 1 plus the log of 2x equals 3. Our first step is to combine these logs. When we have two logs with the same base being added, what's inside of them can be multiplied. This gives us the log of 2x times x plus 1 equals 3. Simplifying what's inside gives us the log of 2x squared plus 2x equals 3. Now our log can be rewritten according to this principle, that the log base b of x equals y can be written as x equals b to the y power. Remember that when the base of a log is not written explicitly, we assume that it's 10. So here, since we don't have a base, we're going to assume that this is log base 10. We'll rewrite our equation as 2x squared plus 2x equals 10 to the third power. 10 to the third power is 1,000, so this gives us 2x squared plus 2x equals 1,000. In order to solve this, we'll need to move everything to the same side. This gives us 2x squared plus 2x minus 1,000 equals 0. Since everything here has a factor of 2, dividing both sides by 2 gives us x squared plus x minus 500 equals 0. Since this can't be factored, we're going to use the quadratic formula. So this gives us x equals negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 squared minus 4 times negative 500 times 1, all divided by 2 times 1. Skipping a few steps, this gives us x equals negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 2001, all divided by 2. Working this out gives us x equals negative 22.85 or x equals 21.85. Now we have to check for extraneous solutions by plugging each of these back into our equation. The first gives us the log of negative 22.85 plus 1 plus the log of 2 times negative 22.85 equals 3. Now inside of each of our logarithms we have a negative number. Since we can't take the log of a negative number, this means that negative 22.85 is an extraneous solution. Now we have to try the other solution. So the log of 21.85 plus 1 plus the log of 2 times 21.85 equals 3. Since we're not taking the logarithm of any negative numbers, this is our solution. But we're going to write it in exact form with its square root. So we'll say x is equal to negative 1 plus the square root of 2001 all divided by 2. This is our solution.